And now I want to invite you, I, I want to invite here uh, another person, another man. We have today uh, four ladies and two gentlemen. And the next gentleman you will already, uh, she, he was already mentioned by our previous <laughs> who has uh, this line of Beautiful line of gray hair, as she said. And we also compare him to Kazakh Richard here. And uh, I wanted to tell a lot about him because otherwise he would be offended. Also. <laughs> he was uh, a guy who came here uh, from a village and he a self made man to become the top manager of Toyota Corporation. And actually, when Samad Khan, uh, the co founder of Softmaster Club, was introducing other speakers, uh, presenting their backgrounds and so on, and uh, he presented him as Yermuda. And, <laughs> and he had nothing to tell about him, I don't know why. And Yermuda was really offended. So next <laughs> he made the speech, which was called Z Yermuda. <laughs>
sat on the edge of the bed and put his hand on my shoulder and asked him, Are you okay? <laughs> <laughs> my answer was, Of course I am not okay. <laughs> How can I be? I screwed up everything. And right at that moment, he looked directly into my eyes and said, Tom, I want you to know one thing in your life. As long as I live, you will study. And we will find money for you. Have you ever been in the situation when little words changed your life? Those words immediately lifted my spirit up and made me believe in my future again. Later, when I became a student myself, when I became a student, I realized that my parents are struggling to find money. Then I found a part-time job, and that's how I paid my own tuition fee. But nevertheless, that was a life-changing moment. Dear concert chair, dear fellow course master, dear judges, unfortunately, five years ago, I lost such father because of heart attack at the age of 53. Together with him, a part of me was gone. I lost not only father, but the best friend and the great supporter. But he does taught me three big things in my life. The first one, to be a person of value. My father always used to tell me that since you've come to this life, you have to do something to contribute to the development of your community, society, or people. Later on, I read a quote by Albert Einstein. Quote that said that, try not to become a man of success but rather try to become a man of value. Those words totally resonated with what my father was always telling me. Instead of being successful, instead of caring about success, how to be famous, being rich, or holding high position, what you have to care is how to be valuable. Only when the person is needed and is useful, his life truly makes sense. The second thing is to value your time. Once I asked my father, what his biggest regret is? And his immediate answer was, he wasted his time. In fact, in his lifetime, he wrote two books, and he was working on his third book. But he didn't finish it just because he didn't have enough time. Other young people, we are energetic. We have a lot of free time. And sometimes we tend to think that it's always going to be like this. But you will start valuing the time only when you get older. That is why don't waste your time on the things which are not important to you. The third thing is to do what you want to do right now. Don't put them aside because tomorrow it can be too late. There are many regrets I have after the death of my father. There are many things 
I wish I did while he was alive. One of the things I always wanted to do to send my parents abroad for traveling. My father was even preparing his passport. But it wasn't just never meant to happen for him. That is why in the last three years I try to take my mom with me whenever I go abroad. At the end of my speech, I would like to quote one of my favorite heroes, Steve Jobs, who once said that remembering every day that your life is limited, and this is the only one thing which nobody can avoid is the best motivation ever. That is why I want to say to all of you, as long as you live, think about the values you are creating for yourself and for others. As long as you live, value the time you have. Don't think it's endless. And as long as you live, do the things you want to do now, because tomorrow it can be too late. Something you don't have, you don't, uh, you don't want to do. That's all. Happen.